are welcome to this new video where we will be talking about how by two digits, okay, if we have two digits in the divisor and we have three digits in the dividend, this video is for you. And if you really want to learn divisions, I'm going to leave you a playlist of uh, divisions from scratch, okay? So I hope in this video you can understand. Let's start with this division that says 635 divided by 26. Okay, this is red 635 between 26. Okay, many people read it backwards. 26 between 635 and that is incorrect. If you put that in the calculator, you get it wrong. You have to put the big number first and put between the smallest number, which is 26. Okay, so we are going to start now to divide this. How am I going to start? Well, it's very simple. If I have two digits here in the divisor, uh, I'm going to take two figures also in the, the dividend, okay? That would cause my answer to start being placed here. If here is where the answers go, here are the numbers that are going to be the answers. Here, here in this space, I'm going to, to start placing my result that they don't forget. And well, to start, we have to ask ourselves the following. We say, how many times does 26 fit into 63? I repeat, how many times does 26 fit into 63? 12 equities, equidente, eh, that's very easy to find. To know how many times a number fits into another number, we will have to search from the 26 table. What is the result that is closest to 63? Yes, but since I don't want to do the complete table, it's a lot of work to do the complete table, I can do it by trial and error. That is that is to say, imagine that I have 26 by a, I don't know, 3 and 26 by 2, let's say. We're going to find these multiplications. We say 3 times 6 or 6 times 3 is 17. And I have a 3 for 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. We have 78 here. And now in 26 for 2, 2 for 6. Tos pulpo, right? I take 1, 2 by 2 is 4 plus 1 is 6. So, between these two, we're going to have to find out which one is the closest, which of these two multiplications of results, which of these two results is closer to 63. Exactly. The closest one is going to be the one that says 26 divided by 2 that gives us 52. Why? Why? Because if I put 78, that number already exceeds 63, and that should not happen. You should always choose the one that is at which is 26 plus 2 gives me 52. Then the number by which 26 was multiplied, which is 2. S2 is going to be the first answer if uh, from our result of this division. It goes up, which is the quotient. So we say 26 divided by 2. How much does it give me 26 divided by 2? I get 52, right? 80. Perfect. And this is a subtraction. Subtract 2 from 3. I have 1 left. Subtract 5 from 6. I have 1 left. On. And we have an 11 truth perfect. And you will always lower this number that is next. 5. Uh, therefore, we have a 1 UC pin. Okay. Now, let's ask ourselves the same question. Always. How many times does 26 fit into 115? If that is the question, we will always ask ourselves. Then we put 20 here. Why number occurs to them 4, say 4x6 or 6x4, 24, right? Then here I carry 2. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10. There are 104. And uh, uh, well, let's imagine a 26 times 5. 5 times 6 is 30. I carry 3. By 2, 10 plus 3 is 13, right? 130 remains of these two results of 104 and 130. 30, which is the closest to 115. E exactly. The closest to one is, is a 104. Why? Because 130 already exceeds 115, right? We always choose the one that above. And 26 times 4 is 4. By which it was multiplied will be put here. Above and 26 times 4 is 120. For n, we do the necessary subtraction. See that the simple steps are repeating. Well, is that easy? They're going to keep doing it with this method. So we say to 5, I subtract 4. Well, I have 
I take away zero. Well, you can't take away anything from one. It stays as one. And to one, I take away one. Well, it becomes a zero. But leading zeros are not used. Perfect. I got 11. And, well, what do you say? Here we have already finished, right? Well, yes. If you are from a grade, it's much smaller. You can finish the division here. But if you are at a more advanced level, you can do the following. What do I mean? Well, every time you think there is nothing here anymore, if nothing can be done anymore, no number can be lowered. You can choose the following at zeros. You can add as many zeros as you want, but only when you add the first zero. If the first zero, you put a decimal point up here in the quotient in the answer. And well, we lower that zero. And now we have a 100. A. So uh, we say the same thing again. How many times does 26 fit into 110? Well, we look for it in the 26 multiplication table that we have done. And we can discover it right here. That 144 is also the closest to 110. Uh, why? Because 130 keeps going over 110. Right? So I'm, I'm going to use it again. S is 26. S4, S4 is going to... Okay. Perfect. And then we say 26 times 4 is a 124. Let's subtract this and say, how much is 0 minus 4? This 0 can borrow 1 onto that Ventruth. And how much would it be 10 now? And this is already a 0 to 10. Uh, I remove 4. How much do I have left? 6. Right? <laughs> and it's 0 minus 0. So it's 0 and 1 minus 1. So it's 0. And, well, we have finished with the division. I can keep adding zeros and keep them down. But it doesn't make sense because your notebook will not fit anymore. It will not give you much space anymore. This is already simply for higher grades, as I told you. And let's see in the calculator to see if that is the result. We have here, we put 635 between 26. And how much does this give me? Look at this. A dead since it follows the... And as we, I said, we can keep doing the division and it will give us all these points, all these extra decimals, but it's no longer worth doing it because we will never finish it. That is to say, we will be adding zeros and well, we will never finish and our notebook will run out. So you can choose to leave them unfinished, but the result is very accurate. Look, for now, I hope since this video has helped you. And that you have really learned how to divide by two digits in the divisor and three digits in the dividend. I seen though if you like this video and it's helped you and see you in the next one. Video, no? Uno is... Gobe...